Hey guys, it's Hell Hades, and today we're going to be doing another Raid Shadow Legends video. This time it's going to be an account takeover for Cronus Falls. And so today he's asked us to come in here, he wants us to look at his arena team as well as his clan boss, and just see if we can help him move along. We want to be doing uh, Ultra Nightmare, and on arena, uh, we just want to get him a higher win rate in Gold 4, so let's see what we can do. So let's go ahead and come over here to the clan boss, and see what he's running right now. So this is a very strong team, we've got 5 bullies coming in, which as we all know, bullies one of the strongest champions in the game. But it looks like he's currently doing 259 damage to Ultra Nightmare, so we'll have to see if we can go ahead and up that. Let's go ahead and take a look at his champions real quick and see what we have to work with. Alright, so as you can see here, we have a very strong account, 5 bullies pulled on this account. Uh, but we need to go ahead and see what we can do as far as gear goes to begin with, so let's see what we have here. So as you know, we're going to be looking through any flat stats are going to go straight in the bin. So I'm going to go ahead and cut and we'll see how we get on. So look at this here guys, absolutely disgusting. A flat stat, straight in the bin, there we go. This account, the gear management is horrible, I mean look at that. Defense 16, disgusting, we need to get rid of that. But that's the gear cleanse, guys. This guy doesn't know what he's doing. Let's go ahead and move on, though. Let's go ahead. I'm going to gear the champions, and we'll see how we get on. So I've had a little bit of a look around in his vault, and I found a couple of vault guardian champions that may be able to come out and help us. So let's go ahead and see how I've got them geared here. So the Arbiter, uh, I was working with not much here, but I was able to get her to 259 speed. Let's go ahead and pull that up here. 259 speed, 4000 defense, uh, 196 accuracy, and 45k HP. Like I said, not a lot to work with here. Also, his great haul, uh, he really needs to improve it. I mean, look at this. Just disgusting, nothing to work with. But back to it. Uh, let's go ahead and look at Rotos here. Now, he did have a little bit of Relentless gear I was able to play around with. So we were able to get his HP to 25k. Uh, his attack to 3750, uh, 2450 on his defense, 191 speed, 99% uh, crit rate, 196 crit damage, and 209 accuracy. So that's Rotos. We've also got Jareg here. He'll be coming in to fill our attack down roll. So we were able to get him to 40k HP, uh, 3600 defense, 201 speed. Uh, the crit rate and crit damage do not matter here, and 215 debuff accuracy. And we've got a rare coming in here, which is just disgraceful, but Frozen Banshee is all this guy had. So we're going to be looking here, we got her to 29k HP, about 3800 defense, 201 speed. The crit rate and crit damage I was able to get to 59%, which is not bad. Also, the 256 debuff accuracy is very good. So we were able to salvage a little bit here to pull that champion together. And finally, another rare Apothecary coming in here. We've got him at 41k HP, a 3800 defense, a 257 speed, uh, only 25% crit rate, and then 115 accuracy. Doesn't matter at all, guys. Apothecary doesn't need it. So let's go ahead and get into a battle here and see if we can't get on with it. So Ultra Nightmare, go ahead and come in. Yes, who cares about this guy's gems? We're going to go ahead and use those and get in. All right, so uh, Jareg's going to be coming in as our lead for his HP aura. And we don't have a counter attack in here because this guy is poor. So we're going to go ahead and pull in an Arbiter, an Apothecary, a Rotos, and a Frozen Banshee. And uh, let's just see if we can't get anything done here with this guy's account. So we're going to come in here with the Arbiter, we're going to speed boost. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get an attack on with Apothecary. We'll use a speed boost next turn, see if we can't apply that attack down. Go ahead and get the poisons rolling. And we'll go ahead and start increasing Rotos's life. There we go. So I'm just going to play this through, guys. We'll come back at the end and see how we get on. Alright guys, we're coming in towards the end of the fight, and as you can see here, this motley assortment is only going to last us about 4 minutes. Truly disgraceful, I don't know how this guy's made it this far in the game. 
But that being said, we just need to trudge on. We're going to go ahead and get through the end here, see if we can't do anything. Keep the Arbiter alive. We want her to be able to resurrect us if we go down. Just go ahead and keep hitting A1 with the Rotos. We want to get in as much damage as possible. Get that up from the Jareg. That'll help us survive a little bit longer, get some speed going. And we're going to come in here. We've already got the poison sensitivity up, so we're going to get some more poison. We're going to apply the Weaken from Arbiter. We're going to keep going with the A1 on Rotos, just get as many extra turns as possible. But it seems that we are going to be going down here very quickly. Here comes the clan boss. He stuns the Rotos, so we're looking okay. We can get the poison sensitivity back on, increase our speed again, and keep going on. So I guess we weren't quite as close to the end as I thought we were, but to be fair, I was playing it on auto, because honestly, who wants to manual this garbage? There we go, two of our people go down, that's our Arbiter, so we are probably going to go down in the next hit. But we'll see here, we've still got the decreased attack going, we've still got Rotos taking extra turns. There we go, big hit, Rotos, last one standing, and there he goes, that's the end folks, 5 minutes, 13 seconds, despicable, only 15.68 million damage on Ultra Nightmare, that's this guy's fault, but, that being said, let's go ahead and see here, so, 15,680,000, divided by 256, so guys, we've increased this guy's damage by a factor of 6,125. Hell Hades does it again. Let's go ahead and crack on to Arena then. So we come in here, let's see what he's running. So we'll go ahead up the, against this team first. And again, he's coming in with four bullies, very strong. See, I don't know why he can't win with this kind of team. But let's see what we can do here. We're going in. Should be just fine. I mean, if this guy knows... What, oh. Immediately down, okay. Well, let's go ahead, we'll come in here again, and uh, we'll go ahead, we pulled some champions out of the vault before for our clan boss team. So let's see if there's anything else we can work with in there. Let's go ahead and sort by rank. And so, I guess Arbiter's okay for Arena. Uh, Tormin, Rotos maybe, and they have a speed booster. I think... We're going to go ahead and pull in a Madam Ceres as well. I mean, I don't usually like to bring her into Arena, but you know, what the hell with an account like this, what are you going to do? So we're going to come in here. We're going to see, can we outspeed these guys? Yes, we can. So we're going to come in. We're going to speed boost. We're going to drop their defense and attack with Madam Ceres. Come in with Rotos. We're going to go ahead and slam him. Boom. In the bin. Sit down. There we go. Trunda 2. Now we're cooking, boys. Okay, so Rotos has really uh, turned this team around. As you can see, we're almost done here. There, Rotos takes a couple of turns. Nothing he can do about it. Sit down, Rotos. There we go. One more hit should do it. We come in here with an A1, and that is that. That is the arena team done and sorted, boys. So I've been Hell Hades. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next video.